Welcome to A to Z Summary YouTube channel. Here is a detailed analysis and summary of the novel Fingersmith by Sarah Waters. Before proceeding further I request you to please subscribe our channel and like the video, also comment your favorite books and novel so that I can provide summary for it, now let's start with the summary. The themes of the novel are The characters in the novel are Fingersmith by Sarah Waters is a gripping historical novel set in Victorian England. It follows the story of two young women, Sue and Maud, whose lives become entangled in a web of deceit and betrayal. Sue, a pickpocket, is hired to help con Maud out of her inheritance, but as the plot unfolds, unexpected twists reveal hidden truths and challenge the character's true intentions. The novel is notable for its clever plot twists, exploration of identity and gender, and its richly detailed historical setting. The narrative's twists and turns keep readers engaged and highlight themes of deception, betrayal, and the search for personal freedom. Sue Trinder, a young orphan raised in the grimy underbelly of London, narrates the first part of the story. Sue's mother was hanged for murder when she was just a baby, and she was taken in by Mrs. Suxby, a notorious baby farmer who specializes in raising abandoned infants for a fee. Sue grows up among thieves and con artists, learning the tricks of their trade. One day, a con man known only as Gentleman, Richard Rivers, proposes a lucrative scheme to Mrs. Suxby. Gentleman has discovered an heiress, Maud Lilly, who lives a secluded life in a large country estate with her cruel uncle, Christopher Lilly. Gentleman plans to seduce Maud, marry her, and then commit her to a madhouse to steal her inheritance. He wants Sue to be Maud's maid and help convince her to marry him. Sue reluctantly agrees and moves to Briar, Maud's uncle's mansion. Maud is kind but naive, and she and Sue form a close bond. Despite her initial intentions, Sue grows fond of Maud, feeling conflicted about betraying her. Maud, in turn, is deeply lonely and finds solace in Sue's companionship. Eventually, Maud falls for gentlemen, and the plan proceeds. Sue, however, is filled with guilt as the wedding day approaches. The second part of the novel shifts to Maud Lilly's perspective, revealing startling new information. Maud's life is a harsh one. Her uncle uses her as a secretary for his obsessive work on an encyclopedia of pornography. She is isolated and mistreated, yearning for freedom. When Gentleman and Sue arrive, Maud initially sees them as her escape. However, Maud has secrets of her own. She is complicit in Gentleman's plan, believing she will be rid of her uncle and able to share the stolen inheritance with him. She is unaware of Sue's true identity and intentions. Maud's relationship with Sue grows complex as she wrestles with her feelings of affection and guilt. After the wedding, the plan takes an unexpected turn. Gentleman betrays Maud and commits her to the madhouse instead of Sue. It is revealed that Maud orchestrated this twist, using Gentleman and Sue for her own escape. Sue, betrayed and heartbroken, is left in the madhouse, realizing the depth of the deception. The final part alternates between Sue and Maud's perspectives as they navigate their new realities. Sue, determined to escape the madhouse, eventually manages to do so with the help of a sympathetic nurse. She returns to London, seeking revenge and answers. Maud, now free, struggles to find her place in the world. She becomes entangled with a group of female writers and activists, attempting to use her knowledge and inheritance for good. However, she remains haunted by her actions and the people she betrayed. Sue tracks down Maud, confronting her about the betrayal. The two women's reunion is fraught with tension and unresolved emotions. As they confront their past, they uncover deeper truths about their identities and the forces that shaped their lives. They realize they are more alike than they thought, both manipulated and betrayed by the same people. 
In a climactic twist, it is revealed that Sue was actually the true heiress, and Maud was the orphan raised by Mrs. Suxby. Mrs. Suxby had orchestrated the entire scheme to secure the inheritance for Sue, whom she genuinely loved. The shocking revelation forces both women to re-evaluate their lives and relationships.